I was talking to uh, one of my sons and I said, you know, it is every young man's job to get over his mother. What does that mean? Everything's mom's fault? No. If you had a great mother, you'd want to look back at that. Mom was great. And you'd want to get over that. What do I mean? You'd, you'd want to say, that's what moms do for guys like me, great moms. But if you don't get over that and you're expecting to be treated like that for the rest of your life, when you get married, you're going you're gonna to hate the person you marry because they're never going to be able to live up to what mommy did for you as a great mom. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi there. Thanks for joining me for Going Deeper. We're in a series of Healing is a Choice. Just yesterday, my wife was reading a note from a person who said they showed up at Northview Church five and a half years ago because they heard that I was doing a series on healing is a choice. She went, and from there, she ended up in a recovery group. And from there, she ended up recovering. And it all started with healing is a choice. And that's what we're doing here. And today, we're talking about another choice, and it's the choice to investigate the truth about your life. Did you know that the higher up you get, the more famous you are, or the maybe the higher in some organization you get, the less likely you are to have anybody around you tell the truth to you about yourself. Janet Jackson tried to get to her brother, Michael, to say, Michael, you are going to die if you don't do something about this drug thing you're doing just to sleep. You have to make some changes. The people around him protected him, quote unquote, from her. She never got to him and he died. Elvis Presley, great guy, huh? I mean, he was amazing, but he was addicted to painkillers. And the painkillers he was addicted to had codeine in them. Codeine is extremely constipated, constipating. And Elvis Presley, because the people around him protected him from the truth about himself. Nobody could get to Elvis, and anybody saying anything negative to Elvis, they were out of the inner circle. Elvis Presley died of a heart attack with his pants down around his ankle because he was so constipated struggling because he was addicted to pain medication that had coding and nobody to tell him if you don't get off this stuff you're gonna die how about that do you have people that tell you the truth about yourself you need at least one person back in June what was June 12 1987 Ronald Reagan stood at the Brandenburg gate and he said this, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And guess what happened? Eventually, they tore down that wall. So Gorbachev had one person that spoke truth to him. He heard it. And I was fortunate enough. I've got a picture with me and him in the office because I got to have dinner with him and I was able to hear him talk about what it's like to know that you're called to destroy the very political system that brought you to power. Pretty fascinating. So if we don't have anybody to tell us the truth, then we're not going to live in truth. Second thing is, if we're not looking to, if you're not willing to look back and learn some stuff from the truth, then we're never going to learn, ever. So, we need to take a little look back. Now, some people say, well, if you look over at Philippians 3.12, it says to press on. Well, I sure hope that you don't live your whole life based on that one little verse. Just because we need to press on doesn't mean that we shouldn't do 
what it says to do in Lamentations 3.40. Let us test and examine our ways. Most people in recovery do a fearless and searching inventory of the things that they've messed up and done and, and the strengths that they have, but the, the faults, the defects that they have. And if we're never willing to do this, we miss out on some things that we need to know about ourselves. 2 Corinthians 13, 5 says, examine yourself. And, and why people think that this lie, that looking back does no good, well, it's ridiculous because of course it does a lot of good to look back and see where I've come. I have a very wise counselor. We were talking just today about regrets. He knew that I had written a book called Regret Free Living. Here's what he said about regrets. Regrets can either be symbolic or they can be a signal. And here's what he meant. If I look back on the things that I've done that I regret, they could be signals saying, don't do that anymore. Do something different and then you won't have regrets piling up. So they're signals to make a change. But sometimes, rather than being signals, they become symbolic or symbols to ourselves of who we are. We define ourselves by the regrets that we have. Thinking, I'm a loser, I'm no good, look how stupid. And we miss the life that God has intended for us because rather than being given a signal from a regret to make some changes, we decide that, well, it's going to be a symbol of our life going forward, all of them together. So don't do that. So I just want to say one of the great, most wonderful choices that we could ever make is to make that choice to go back and do a little work, find some patterns, find some paths where we got off the path, some unmet needs that didn't get met that are leading to things today. Let's look at our heritage. How were we raised? Sometimes it's painful to look at mom and dad as anything but perfect. Let me tell you one reason that you should look back. I was talking to uh, one of my sons and I said, you know, it is every young man's job to get over his mother. What does that mean? Everything's mom's fault? No. If you had a great mother, you'd want to look back at that. Mom was great. And you'd want to get over that. What do I mean? You'd, you'd want to say, that's what moms do for guys like me, great moms. But if you don't get over that and you're expecting to be treated like that for the rest of your life, when you get married, you're going you're gonna to hate the person you marry because they're never going to be able to live up to what mommy did for you as a great mom. Same goes for if you have a really crummy mother. You're going to get married and lay all of that stuff that you couldn't say to mommy, you're going to lay that onto your wife and it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be miserable. But when we search for the truth and we find that truth, that we've got some wounds and hurts and we deal with that and process that with the counselor, now I don't have to be healed or fixed or propped up by the person I marry. I just marry them because I love them and we make a good partnership. There's no hidden agenda. So I don't know what you've done with your life. I don't know if you've ever gotten counseling. I get it every week, almost every week. But that's a great place to find the truth about yourself. What a sad thing to go through life and never ever fully know who you are or how you got that way. But when we make that inventory or when we ask people to be truthful with us, when we open the door without punishment, revenge, or anything like that, but we openly accept the truth from other people, we are on our way to developing wisdom and insight and discernment on what to do next as we're in the healing process. Well, that is number three on our way to healing is a choice. We'll do number four next time, and I hope you'll join me and maybe tell somebody else to give it a look. It might be helpful.
to them. But I'm praying that something I say is going to make a difference and lead to your transformation. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.